Today, I'm going to be making the Bailey's Original Irish Cream Cookies. I'm using the uh, Bailey's Baking Chips. They're semi-sweet chocolate. They're naturally flavored with the flavor of Bailey's Original Irish Cream. They are non-alcoholic. This is a 12-ounce bag, and it was $2.98 at Walmart. So, these are your ingredients that you're going to need. Uh, you need one stick of, uh, sorry, yes, a half a cup or one stick of butter. You need two-thirds cup of brown sugar, one and one-fourth cup of regular granulated sugar. You need two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, two and a fourth cups of flour. You need one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of kosher salt, and you need this whole 12 ounce bag of the Bailey's baking chips. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to um, put your butter and your sugars in your mixer, and you're gonna cream those together. Um, I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. And I have a cookie sheet and I put a uh, parchment paper on my cookie sheet. So now I want to uh, mix these until they're smooth. Now you want to add your eggs one at a time. And after they're well incorporated, you want to add your uh, vanilla. all of your powders, your baking uh, powder, your baking soda, and your flour. You also want to add your salt. This is mixed, so I'm going to take it off my, yeah, let me take this off, it'll be easier. You're going to use this entire 12 ounce bag and you want to stir your chips in. Let's smell them. Mmm, they smell. Um, Kevin's going to try a couple. What do you think? Do they taste like Bailey's? Mmm, they taste mostly chocolate. Mm hmm. But you get a little bit of a, a different flavor. Let's put it this way you can eat those for a snack. Oh, just by themselves yeah. without it, without any. Oh, that'd be good if you mixed them in with some of those cookies where you mix in like just chocolate chips and like the mixes, like a trail mix. Mm -hmm. Those would be good. Now, this is a very, very thick dough. I'm using a cookie scoop. And I'm gonna put these right on my parchment paper. to chill the scooped cookies in the refrigerator for one hour. So I have another sheet, cookie sheet ready to go. I'm going to put it, I'll, I'll fill it up with cookies and put it in the um, refrigerator as well. I would not preheat my oven so early. Um, it, the directions have you preheat, preheating your um, oven after you put the flour in, but I know that Typically, uh, American ovens do not take an hour to preheat, so you're just wasting that energy. So I would not preheat your oven until maybe you have 15 minutes left in the refrigerator. Uh, so I'm actually gonna turn my oven off, um, and when an hour is, uh, when an hour's up, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna come back on camera because you can see what they look like. They're gonna look exactly the same, but cold. Um, and I'm gonna put these in the oven. They're gonna bake for 10 to 12 minutes. I'll bake mine for 11 minutes. And when they come out, I'll show them to you. So these are the cookies straight from the oven and I have already put another baking sheet in there. You can see that they did not spread a lot, which is good. That just means that I, I could have put them a little bit closer together. I could have fit more on here. Um, but uh, we have our second batch in the oven. I'm gonna let these cool for a little while. They look absolutely delicious. They smell good too. And then we'll be back to try them. Well, this made 32 cookies for us. I think that's a really good amount of cookies. 32 cookies. 
for two dollars and ninety eight cents. Of course, that's not including the all you know <laughs> exactly the two eggs and the flour and all that other stuff. Um, it says if you're interested in calories, who is when they're making cookies? But I'll tell You'd you, you have to weigh them. One tablespoon is seventy calories, uh, but uh, you're using it says it tells you to use two tablespoons per cookie. So yeah, you would just have to weigh them if you care. But if you're buying these, do you really? You really want to care about that. And the calories are just for the chips. Right. They're not for the the butter and the sugars and the the eggs. Oh my. Mm -hmm. If you could see. Yeah. Well, full hour. Oh wow. <laughs> All There's a lot of chips in this bag. They taste different. They do. I don't know if they taste like Bailey's necessarily, because I don't drink Bailey's. So. I get the, I get where they're going with it. I get the Irish cream. There's definitely a difference between these and regular chocolate chips. Oh yeah. It's good. This is a cookie mm. recipe too, actually. It's very good. I love how mm. buttery it is. A little yeah. salt to them. Yeah. Yes, you get the salt. Mm -hmm. Because that was something different in this recipe than I think I've ever done um, from a recipe on the back of the bag. And that's add kosher salt. Right, with the bigger salt. Yes, and Ashley's favorite is kosher salt anyway. So we always have kosher salt on ham. That's something that a lot of people might not keep. But we, we just have it because Ashley, instead of using regular salt like we would on anything... She always wants the kosher salt. She's but a salt though. I, as <laughs> I'm sitting here though, I keep pulling that salt from my teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More and more, you get that yeah. salt. Well, you, it, it was a decent amount, and it's all mixed in. So mm -hmm. that it's is a, a good delicious cookie. cookie. Yes, yeah. absolutely delicious. And the chips are good and gooey. Mm -hmm. and, and they are different from your typical chocolate chip. Definitely cookies. have a different flavor. Um. The only thing that, that there, were, there was a curveball was when I had to put them in the refrigerator for an hour because the first thing they teach you to do in home ec, which I have been always horrible at doing, is read completely through the directions from start to finish before you ever start baking. That's rule number one. I've never been good at that. Still haven't learned that lesson. So, you know, my oven was nice and preheated and then I read, oh wow, these have to stay in the refrigerator for an hour. You need to know that when you're planning to bake them, too. So, don't think that you're going to, you know, make them quickly. You just need to give yourself some time. I don't know if that keeps them from spreading as much. I don't know, because they did not spread. You need to know that, too. They didn't spread, which I think is a good thing. You can fit more on the pan. That's what I think. That's my yeah. that's my guess. Yeah, I like that. Is the cold um, kept it from flattening out and really getting, like, a thinner cookie? Mm -hmm. But know, they're... Thicker cookie. Yeah, pretty decent thickness, too. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. So, I hope you all will try them out. I love that salt. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, good. thanks for watching.